What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. It has been a hot minute since I've made a video, but I've got good news and that is, check that out. I've got a brand new box of puzzles from Puzzle Master. I think I got like seven or eight different puzzles in here. But today, we're gonna be starting with this guy. The mouse pocket puzzlers. Yo, I forgot to mention, if you want one of these puzzles, Make sure to check the link out in the description because I'm going to leave a link to Puzzle Master where I got this puzzle and there's plenty more other puzzles for you to pick from. So, enjoy the rest of the video. This is a Haniyama made puzzle and the goal is to arrange all of these little cheese pieces you see on here in such a way that you can fit this little blue mouse in the puzzle somewhere. Well, besides that, I don't think there's anything else that I need to tell you guys. Sorry, lastly, this puzzle's rated a level 7 out of 10. That's the last thing I forgot. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the mouse cheese pocket puzzler. Let's see what this guy looks like. You got your board, cheese pieces. Looks like about it. No solution, which is good because we don't like those. All right, well, there it is. So we got five cheese pieces and our tiny little mouse. Well, let's just get to it. As far as a strategy goes, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of just going off a whim here. The one other difficulty that comes with this is these pieces can be flipped. There's not one specific side, so that makes this puzzle even harder than it actually is. I think this is what I just had, but <laughs> we're gonna go with it. Yep, you wish. I actually think that's what's on the front of the box. Yep. <laughs> what a coincidence. Well, that ain't gonna work. Now, I think the strategy here is to try and get the bigger pieces in first. Because... I don't know, I just think that'll be easier to solve. The more room you take up at the beginning, the less you gotta worry about at the end. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we're going with it, again. Maybe I'll try that, maybe that's a good strategy. Just place two pieces together that will form a place for the mouse to go and see if I can't fix that anywhere to where it makes any sense. So that did not look like that was working. And I think the be next best solution is to combine maybe three or four of them and see if the mouse fits in there and go from there. Essentially just forming one big piece. This is frustrating. Now the box says there is only one solution, so I mean, once you get it, you get it, right? Now you know this is going to be a funky looking puzzle. It's going to fit really weird. It's not going to be all put together like you think. You've got to start thinking outside the box. Too much in the box. I hate being in the box. That doesn't look too bad there. I know it's not correct, but it's looking pretty decent. Still need a place for the stupid mouse to go. Let me know, what would you guys do in this situation? 
I am stumped. About 27 minutes in. Basically, we've got nowhere. We gonna keep chugging. Come on, baby. Come on. Yo. You can't even tell me, man. Look at that. So, so, so close. Nope, that was half an hour. Camera shut off. Okay. Still chugging along. Haven't really made any progress. See, I feel like that's how the puzzle makes it. So you want it to be like this. That seems right. But I feel like it's more non-traditional than that. This, uh, this right here is fitting like a normal puzzle. And I don't think that's what we are looking for right now. See, something like that where it's kind of like cockeyed. I think that's how it's got to go. I still think I'm thinking that I'm too inside of the box. Get out of the box. What's some out of the ordinary way that we could place these cheese pieces so they all fit in there? New idea. Try and make all these corners. Try to leave all the corners empty. Instead of trying to find a right angle, leave them all empty. See how that's going to go. That might actually work for me. Oh my God. Holy, do you see that? Holy sh I can't believe this right now. It is like 12.05 at night. Oh my God. I don't even know how many hours that was. That was like two and a half hours worth. Holy cow, my battery's about to die. Gotta get an outro real quick. Yo. Is anybody else as tired as I am? That took a ridiculous amount of time. But that was fun though. Holy cow, I think that was like two and a half hours. Maybe a little bit longer. Here you go, here's the final product. So if you're trying to get the solution for yours, this is it right here. This puzzle is rated a level seven out of 10 on Puzzle Master. Again, I said this in previous videos, maybe I just suck at puzzles, but I think that was at least a level eight puzzle out of 10. See, I kept telling myself, I said no right angles in those corners because that ain't gonna work. And sure enough, that didn't work. And I said, I need to start thinking outside the box. And what do you know? The box is the answer. The mouse fit in the box. Mind blowing. All right, well, it's like midnight right now. I'm exhausted. I need to go to bed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do that. And also, like I said in the beginning of the video, I got a whole box of goodies from Puzzle Master. So make sure to keep an eye out for those. Oh, that's all me for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh,